they returned to Ulster, the water scot. Once again, as I changed since my wanderings began, felt the deep voice of a lagging and then, and the pines of Clan Brazil resounded the roar, and as the echoes of fair tomorrow. Alas, my poor bosom, and my shoulders for burn, of scenes of my youth can and raptures return, can live with the life of delusion again, and flow from his echoes first mixed with my strain? It was when that around me, for poor and unknown, I spells of mysterious enchantment were thrown, the streams were of silver, of diamond, the dew, the land was in Eden, for fancy was new. I had heard of her bards, my soul was on fire, and rushed of her words and sweep of her lyre. To me it was not legend, nor tale to the ear, but a vision of noontide, distinguished and clear. Was she to a phantom, the maid who stood by and list my lay, while she turned mine eye? Was she to a vision, just glancing to you, and dispersed in the sunbeam, or melted to you? Or would it have been so, or would with her eye had been but a star glance that shot through the sky, and a voice that is moulded to melody's fill had been but a fire that sighed and was still? Or would it have been so, not then this poor heart had learned the sad lesson to laugh and to part, to be unassisted its burthen of care, and had toiled for wealth I had no one to share? Not then had I said, when life's summer was done, and the hours of her autumn were fast speeding on, take the fame the registry abroad in your train, and restore me the dream of my springtide again.